welcome back to South Ball. We are here on a rather grey and shitty day. Uh, we have got a, a little surprise for you. We picked up... We picked up this. This is the SJRC F11 Pro. This was sent to me by Banggood for review. So thank you very much, Banggood. As you can see... Oh, let's drop the camera down. There we go. That's better. Hopefully you can see, here is the F11 Pro with a massive lens on the front for the 2.7K uh, video recording. We are going to open this up and hopefully give her a quick spin. And we're going to hit down and in to start the motors. And then we're up. The motors are 1806 brushless, so they are quite powerful, sort of on a, on a par with the Bugs 3. Only this is uh, slightly heavier than the Bugs okay, 3. Okay, so let's get her in front of the Femi so we can have a look at her. There's the Femi and there's the F11 Pro. Now you can see the stability between the two of them. That's got some, uh, it's got some quite good stability on the GPS. Let's see what she looks like. So she's sitting there incredibly stably. Hopefully you can see that. So let's get her out there and get some video going. This is just in speed mode one. As you can see, there is another one. Air brakes on nicely. Now the beeping you can hear is the controller telling me that it's actually recording on board. There's a 16 gig plus 10 U1 card in there, so it should be more than enough to record. I'll send her up, let's give her a little bit of attitude. About 30 meters, maybe 20. Oh, there's the other one coming in for a close up. <laughs> But range, range so far, I've only, we've only taken her out about 100 metres, but uh, absolutely no problem with control at 100 metres whatsoever. The video feed, um, I haven't got my camera fitted on at the moment, but um, the other F11 Pro that's flying there has got a video feed hooked up and it's flying just nice. The latency is actually very low. Okay, let's take a look at her. We will send her out to do a return to home test at the moment, in a minute. But let's have a look at the stability. This thing is just sat there so nicely. There is a, probably a 5 to 10 mile an hour gusting wind. So she is leaning a little bit into the wind. But she is sitting there rather nicely. Barometer is working quite well. Just a tiny little bit of updrift. So this is the video from the drone. Um, as you can see, it's not terrible. Um, I haven't fully reviewed the video yet, but I've, I've had a quick sneak peek and it's not, not bad. It's, it's obviously the stability of the aircraft moving um, that's going to let it down because there's no gimbal on it as such. But um, it's a motorised gimbal up and down, but only in one direction. There's no, there's no uh, ability to EIS or anything like that for the, for the footage. You can have a go at that in post and I'll, I will do. I'll see if I can post some video of stabilised footage from this drone. But yes, it's a lovely little drone. It's, uh, it flies really, really nicely. It's not bad at all on the 5G, so um, something to consider. But if you don't have a 5G phone, you cannot see the video signal from this, from this, phone, uh, from this drone. As you can see, I've not got my phone hooked up and it's flying absolutely fine. You, you won't get all the extra follow me modes and things, but you can record on, on board uh, in, in uh, the full 2K. Right, let's send her out and then do a return to home. I think the geofence is on, so it's probably only going to hit out 30 metres and then bounce. No. Yes, she's bringing herself back. Okay, so I am going to hit return to home. She is now turning to face us, going up to 30 metres. And let's see how accurate the return to home is. Here she comes. Pad's over there. 
Ah, she took off from the table. <laughs> so I will have to stop the GPS to return to home for fear of killing my friend. <laughs> but let's see how accurate she was going to be. I doubt very much. I'm not going to let her land on the table because that will likely end badly. But we'll see how close she was going to get to it. She's now turning to face the way she took off and she's coming down. Getting a little bit of buffeting from the wind there just above the tree line, but she's about to break the tree line, so that'll soften out. Here she comes. She looks to be about four to six feet off. Here she comes yeah, down. Hold speed button all the way up. So she's now on full speed mode, taking into account where the other one is. And she's off. Again, the beeping noise you can hear is coming from the transmitter. That's just the uh, transmitter telling us we're recording video. She caught as well. It's got quite a bit of speed, probably 20 mile an hour. I'd say nothing more than that. She's not a Bugs 3, but she is a considerably heavier aircraft than a Bugs 3. See what she's like at low level, shall we? See if we can get her right down low. Roll back to speed mode. Wow, nice. Low level shot. So if you're into recording RC cars, this would not be a terrible platform to fly with because it is nice and low. Let's have a, a low zoom in for the Femi. Well, thanks for joining us on South RC for the review of the SJ RC F11 Pro. I'm South I'll catch you on the next one.